It is 3 a.m. and insomnia strikes again. I'm kind of peckish. But I'm doing this thing where I do not eat after 6 p.m. So no midnight snacks for me. So since I'm awake, I thought I would do a questions I've never answered video uh, from the comments you guys leave on my channel. Your mom is so funny. I love when she's in your videos. How come your dad isn't a nanny? Do you have a dad? <laughs> from Xavier. <laughs> Don't mention the war. <laughs> this made me laugh, Xavier. Um, yes, I do have a dad. Like biologically, I do. About a year ago, my dad had this affair with a woman that he is counseling, like he's a counselor, and he started sleeping with a client. Fucked up, I know. Unbelievable. He ditched mom and us, and now he's getting married to like some total hippie freak in her 20s. <laughs> well, she's 36, but she's obsessed with crystals and the moon cycle. Dad like totally ruined mom's life. And she said that she forgives him. And she even wants us to go to a sham wedding. Well, not her, obviously, that would that'd be awkward. But like me and T, because we're family. And I was like, yeah, mom, we were family, past tense. And then he destroyed it. What a fucking dick. Who was your best kiss? And that is from Cassie Cat. <laughs> oh my God, people are perverts. <laughs> you guys are so nosy. Um, Wayne wasn't bad, I guess. You always seem so happy and confident in your videos. I'm really shy and insecure, and I'd like to be more like you. Any tips? And that's from him. Aw, that's a nice one. Oh, and that's really sweet. Uh, well, firstly, you are not alone. Like, everyone gets insecure. Like, even models have things that they hate about themselves. Oh, so you're a model now. <laughs> but I'm not saying that I look like a model. I clearly do not. But what I do when I'm feeling shit about myself or down is just try and be proactive. Yes. Like, get out there, go for a run, join a dance class. Like. I feel so much better about myself since I started my new life. And you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I actually want to stab him. You know, it's like, yes, these are my breasts. <laughs> I am 17 and you are practically a pensioner. Die, pensioner, die. What are you doing? Or maybe I'll sue you for millions. Well, I don't think you can sue men for looking at your breasts, unfortunately. Uh, of course you can. Any lawyers out there? I want to take legal action against Mr. McAllister for ogling me inappropriately. Do you really think any lawyers watch Imo's videos? Yeah, obviously. Mm. Imo has loads of followers. One of them must be able to help. Come on, let's do a call out. Uh, okay, uh, so it's official. If there's anyone out there studying law or is a lawyer and wants to help us um, sue the shit out of Mr. McAllister. Hit me up in the comments. Guess who? Get off of your freak. Hey, stranger. <laughs> Never fear, Wayne is here. Oi, lads, get in here. What's going on, girls? You all right? All seven, seven hundred, nine hundred and three one two. Give us a ring if you fancy a friend. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm sure your phone will be hopping. How about things? Did you miss me? Uh, no, not really. What brings you lot to our neck of the woods? Me and the lads were just having a bit of lunch and thought we'd say hello. Enjoying your rabbit food. It's a salad. A salad for rabbits. No, thanks. They're fucking delicious. Smoky bacon flavour. Can't beat it. I'm fine, really. I know you're fine. Can I have a crisp? Go on. I dare you. <laughs> Always popping a big question. <laughs> get rid of him. Wayne, get up. It's Friday. Treat yourself. Wayne, why? Forcing me to eat your stupid crisps. I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm just generously offering you a bit of lunch. I said get rid of him. It's just a crisp, Imo. It won't kill you. Thank you. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> there now. That wasn't so bad, was it? Go for a sink before class, huh? See you later. What the fuck was that? Good question. It was nothing. I have to go to the bathroom. <sighs> Hi guys, so today was like the shittest day. <sighs> okay, that is probably gonna make you feel a bit sick. So I'm gonna do this until I sweat so much I forget who I am. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> How do I look? Smoking hot. Imo, what the hell are you doing? Just kidding. <laughs> what? Are you a professional boxer now? We're leaving for the meal in 10 minutes. We're not going anywhere. 
I'm sorry, T. Just, I'm not really feeling up to like a big social thing. I just had a really shit day. It's my birthday. And I know, and we can celebrate it another time. Just me and you, I promise. Let's get back to business. Are you fucking joking me? <sighs> Two other girls already bailed on me, and Dad forgot my birthday. This is my night, Imo. Just stop being a freak and get ready. Ugh. Chinese food is so gross. You're not actually considering going, are you? No, I don't think she's coming, no. <laughs> so here I am at Tara's Big Bash. Not only have I been talked into coming, but I am also now official videographer, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> capturing all the madness. Yeah. This food is <laughs> Oi, Imo, <Emma>, gimme. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my super sweet 18th, which I am celebrating two years early, but shh, don't tell management or they'll confiscate El Buzo. <laughs> Everyone is enjoying the finest Chinese cuisine that Leeds has to offer. Right, girl? <laughs> yeah, the struggle is real. <laughs> Imogen, as you can see, is having the time of her life. Imo, don't you like your chow mein? I just something a bit off about it. Are you slandering Ocean City's good name? <laughs> you make your little prawn sad. Do you not like those amount? Do you want some more fried rice? I've got, I've got them. I, I'm fine. I, I'm just. I think there's some sweet and sour sauce you can have as well. Chanel, Chanel, give me some of that. Like sauce. I'm, I'm actually fine. Like not even that hungry oh, before I came and stuff. Don't you love me? Oh, you're making me cry. Oh, come on, no. Just sorry. Would you just fuck away from my food, please. Okay, my mess. Sorry. With you. So I am taking a little time away from Tara and all her drunk 15-year-old friends. And I'm conveniently near a toilet in case I need to puke up all those disgusting noodles. Like, they've actually made me feel so sick. I actually just feel a bit down these days. Like, I just don't feel like myself. Today was, like, the worst day. Everything with Wayne, like, properly confirmed my suspicion that every guy my age is, like, the mental capacity of a 12-year-old. Oh, great. There's a psychopath in the toilet talking to herself. Anyway. I just don't want to be here right now. I told you we shouldn't have come here tonight. What did you expect? You have zero willpower. I know I have a lot to work on and... Oh, I just need to take control of my life. Like, I, I'm setting myself all these targets and I just... I feel like I'm failing already. You can say that again. I just want to be here for Tara and have fun with her, but I just, like, don't have the headspace. You need to get your priorities straight. Because your life is starting to look like a complete train wreck. I just feel... Oh, shit! <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming. Uh, 18, finally. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. Um, let them eat cake. Mmm, <laughs> triple chocolate fudge cake, your favorite. First slice goes to the official filmmaker of the evening and best big sister ever. <laughs> yeah. One slice? You've come this far. Why not eat the whole fucking thing? Imo, I'm, I'm fine. Get your feelings, I'm... Imogen. <laughs> What are you waiting for? I, 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 don't, I, don't. I said, what are you waiting Look. for? <laughs> Emma! Where are you going? Look, I'm, I'm going home. But we're doing the cake. Look, I feel sick. I have to go. Jesus, Emma. Could you not even pretend you want to be here? You're supposed to be my big sister. Oh, thanks for the reminder, Tara. I know you're my sister probably because I can never fucking get away from you. I literally have not had a second to myself. And now when I feel like I'm going to faint, you're abusing me for leaving. You think I don't know what this is about? I might be younger than you, but I'm not fucking stupid. This is all about your crazy diet. I'm telling Mum that you didn't eat a single thing all night. Oh, tell Mum what you want. You're pathetic, Tara. And you know what, you're right. I don't want to be here at your lane party with all your loser little friends. We're not surgically attached. It might be hard for you to get your head around this, but I don't want to hang out with you every single second of the fucking day. Emma, what is wrong with you? Why would you say that? You've changed. 
When did you turn into such a bitch? 